It's just sad, but it is really, really nice to see that we are recovering slowly but surely. I know we yeah. had that candy store sh uh, story. Mm -hmm. I don't know, what was it called? Place? It's opening. It, it's opening. But anyways, we know that the cleanup and recovery effort is well underway. Right. And we do know that, yes, hurricanes typically cause all these blooms. The one good piece of positive news right now is that those winds are going to carry that pungent smell away from our coast. So basically what's going to happen is that because of that, the pungent smell will move out over the Gulf of Mexico, even with these high concentrations, that's what's going to be our saving grace. So for our friends down over towards Port Charlotte and Charlotte County, you're seeing the highest of the concentrations there. So just try to stay off the beaches, at least for the short term for right now, because if you have any COPD, respiratory issues or illnesses, that is something that you really just want to avoid. But we do see that we're dark to start, but we are going to see that sunrise soon. Seas right now, they're elevated because of those gusty winds. So the wind direction is helping us, but the wind gusts are really just tearing apart our marine forecast. So they're elevating not just the Gulf wave heights, but the choppiness to those bays. We're going to be choppy today. And also that is firing up that small craft advisory yet again today. So please use a lot of caution if you have to head out there on the water. Please, please, please be careful with all the derelict boats as well. Current winds, right? We're seeing them come in from the northeast and east right now, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. They're going to be much more gusty later on. That'll help to really make you feel a little bit cooler, at least with that Halloween costume on. Aside from that, radar showing us we're completely dry and clear for the time being as well. And we're going to keep it that way for all of your trick-or-treating and fun festivities. We see the St. St. Petersburg sky camera showing us the trop. Yes, the roof is ripped off, but hey, at least the lights are on and it's still looks very beautiful right now and we are resilient here in the Bay Area. 68 for Lando Lakes right now, 68 for Riverview and we see 68 for Brooksville, 64 so a little cooler there for Crystal River and 70 degrees for Sarasota. Now the next 12 hours you can see that temperatures are going to go from the 60s up into the 70s yet again so that's some good news right and then we also see that those temperatures will gradually get back up into the 80s about 85, 86 for your high temperature this afternoon and those winds gust up to about 22 miles per hour. So your Halloween planner looking good to go with the breezy conditions that'll help keep you cool. However, that candy might melt, especially if you're out throughout the earlier evening hours with those highs in the 80s again, but they drop off for the big kids to go trick or treating later on around eight, nine o'clock. And we also see that we have some more good change coming on our seven day forecast. Not just do we have a spooky, fun, happy Halloween for you. We are going to see these breezy conditions persist into the weekend. We have a weak cold front coming, bringing us that 20% chance of rain. And guess what? We get an extra hour of sleep heading into this weekend. Don't forget to turn those clocks back.